the first time I met anybody was when I went to a TV party at Harrods, and Fred was there, who I didn't know Fred at that time, but I was like, he was talking on TV party and showing these books that he had with him. And also I remember Cindy from B-52s was there too. Right, and they, they Because she had on Eagle sneakers. She had on the cool sneakers. And that was when, I mean, I was like B-52s groupie, so they, mm -hmm. they knew me, or I could still talk to them and stuff. And, and John Lurie did a solo saxophone before. <laughs> so I, I wanted to talk to Fred, but didn't know what to say because I felt really stupid. You knew, was, knew that Fred was a graffiti artist. Well, yeah, I, yeah, I knew yeah. the graffiti, and I knew, and I saw that Do you he remember was from that party? Yeah, I remember him coming up to me, and like, because I was really nervous, right? I just started hanging out in Manhattan, and the drawers that I had were some of mine and, and some of Lee's, and I was like, Shit, Lee had gave me this big book, mostly like the big colorful ones with Lee's drawing I was showing. And I remember Keith coming up to me, had on like a green tie, green pants, like yeah, all his colorful. Like but, and he walked up to me and said, something about the Fab Five. And I said, yeah, but, and then I got real nervous, you know, I didn't know what to. But I was just as nervous because I didn't know what to say. I mean, it's like, I had been looking at him like, but it's like, what do you say? It's like nothing, I, it's like nothing I really point I couldn't really do it, but I just, you had, you know, you had not done any things. kind of public art at this point at all, or had you? Well, just, I was doing those drawings at SBA where people would come in and look, but that right. wasn't really public. Right. It was like, it was like, they'd see it because I was there, but I wasn't going to put him out on the street or anything. But around the same time as when I started doing, doing bills in the street, but I think that was after. But it's like, that's when I was seeing same old graffiti everywhere. I didn't yeah, know same old was rocking. And it's like, so I mean, have conversations with other people about Samuel all the time. We didn't know who Samuel was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know? And you'd go, but he was obviously going to the same place because you yeah, go definitely. all the way from the East Village to the Mud Club. Definitely. The same yeah, way yeah, that anybody yeah. in the East Village yeah. lived and they'd walk to the Mud definitely Club. Definitely in the same path. The same did same you see him too? Or did well, you know well, him well, at that point I had, because like, um, me and Glenn, we used to talk about graffiti a lot, and like we had all thought he was this white kid, who was an artist or something. He's like, yeah, same old, same old. We used to talk about him, and Glenn used to say, yeah, he's some conceptual artist or something. And then it was actually through Glenn th th that I had first met him, because Glenn had met him, and then he came to this party and like, had a blonde movie he came. And then he began to, and it was, it was Jean told me that, that was his first time hanging out with people like Blondie and stuff. Mm -hmm. We all started. Then we, so Samo At was that a time, big I thought, I mean, Samo, he was my two favorite writers. I mean, and I thought that was important. That was my, was, um, um, I mean, writers, writers was um, mm -hmm. William Burroughs and, and Samo mm -hmm. for the things he wrote. Mm -hmm. was like, do you remember any of the favorites or where they were? Or what they, um, do you remember the first one you saw? Or? Things are very confusing at this point. That was one. Yeah. <laughs> where where was that? That's probably that should still be there. Maybe that's somewhere. There's some there classic ones on Lafayette. Lafayette and on Lafayette. There was one. There was a lot in Soho that were incredible. Oh man, too. my best one like was Mano, outside Mano or on there yeah. that store right on the corner of West Broadway and Prince. There was an incredible one that I can't remember. But remember the one outside of Howie Solomon? It was something like stop, stop, stop playing art. Stop running around with the radical chic set playing art with Daddy's Darling. That was really <laughs> like, because when I saw that with All West Brother, I knew that whoever was doing that knew a lot about what, what you know, all the bullshit that was going on. And so, because that was when yeah, was Soho was getting chic and all these people were taking over these, these lofts that like artists used to live in and then running around. A lot, a lot of them were just so concise, like totally. so to the point yeah. that it was like, and there's. But at the same time, there were poetry. You know, there was yeah. like something really cool down that mm -hmm. you could tell it wasn't think. just made someone, think. someone just writing what they think. It was like a one step beyond that. I remember when Seymour as an alternative to two-dimensional sex. That one was incredible. Yeah, Seymour was an end to the 95 clone. Yeah, that was a yeah. Of yeah. He did a lot of it. So let's, let's keep going chronologically. Um, Started actually, the hanging first out time I met, actually met Samuel was probably a year after seeing his thing. And by accident, Square letting him into, no, it was before Times Square show. Actually, it was with Kenny. I met him Kenny first thing. Yeah, Kenny was who introduced him to him. He, he's, he was friends with Kenny and John Sex before you and me. Really? He used to be friends <laughs> with Kenny. Kenny yeah. lived on 23rd Street, way on the west side. Really? And the first time I met Sean, I went to Kenny's house with Sean and John Sex. 
and then John shows him doing collages. And Kenny well, little and baseball collages too. That was the time when I yeah, I remember that. That was like that was summer of '79. That was yeah, later that year. Yeah. Right. yeah. Which, and uh, every, well, a lot of people were. I did collages then too. Yeah, yeah lots of people were doing baseball, baseball cards. And which was also back to William Burroughs' thing. It was like it all, it all made sense because it was like kind of different pieces. Put the thing out the other day.